All right, uh, take two, am I right, boys? Um, so, I tried to make a video for a second, but I kind of got off track. Uh, so, anyways, I watched Fight Club the other day. Made me really uncomfortable, but I thought it was really good. Uh, I guess, quickly, briefly, the reason it made me uncomfortable, just like a weird little stupid thought, I'm not going to really extrapolate or like extend it more right develop it more right now but uh basically a little bit of a spoiler guy has two sides one of the sides does not conform to any sort of societal pressure or expectation and he's like, kind of like opposite of like idol worship and stuff like that he just does whatever he wants then ironically he becomes a leader of a bunch of people i think that's like kind of the point of it but but any anyways oh yeah i could talk about that that's kind of weird um, like, anybody, I don't know, with roles and stuff, like, in this movie, and I feel like kind of in real life, to a certain extent, you're either, like, looking or following whoever has attention, or not, like, in a, oh, you're a bunch of sheep following, oh, no, 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 just kind of, basically, in a conversation or in anything, usually, the attention is mostly on someone that's usually talking about themselves or a story related to something they did. Um, a lot of times, not all the time. Sometimes you're, like, sharing an experience and, like, both talking about some bird that just flew by or whatever. Um, but anyways, it is kind of weird how, like... So you have to... You kind of... And a lot of times you do have to be either the kind of leader or um, follower. And in this movie, like, by not following anything, you automatically are... You're not a follower. And then the only relationship you can have with other people is that they will follow you because you are not going to follow them, if that makes sense. Think about someone that just does whatever they want all the time. Oh, oh, Aiden, I think we should, uh, I want to play tennis. And I'm like, no, no, I don't, no. And so even if they don't do what I do, that's their only option because I'm being a dick and not doing anything they want to do. But that's like... That's a dick type of way to, to a way to not be a follower, but also just like, you know, not really uh, conforming to anything you don't want to do, not like compromising, which which in some ways is like admirable to not to not compromise. So oh, my head's pretty low. Um, yeah, it's just weird to think about like how, like lately, I've also been thinking about selfishness a lot lately because, like people, talk, a lot of times when people are talking like. The person listening doesn't care. They don't care. That's just, like, that's true. Sometimes I care. And I'm sure different people care to different extent, extents. I guess, like, if you're, like, a sociopath, you usually, like, never care. Or at least with, like, the empathy stuff. Because, cause, cause, like, if someone's telling you about, about their problems, if I don't care about the person, then I don't care. And, like, people at work or whoever do this. You know, they're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I probably do this. Like, I'm sure I talk and people don't care. Like, that's fine. That's, like, how... That's just how it is. I just feel like... I don't know if that's been happening a lot lately or what, but anyways, like... I've been trying to be more honest, and I feel like the honest reaction... If someone's talking to me, and I don't care about one of their problems, unless they're asking for some sort of advice, or I feel like... Or if I have advice to give, if I don't have any advice to give, and I don't care about the person, <laughs> then I, then I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say like, okay, like not not in a dick way, but um, I feel like I used to do this thing where I would like respond and try to progress the conversation about something that I don't care about. And this sounds selfish, and it kind of, maybe it is, but um, I think if that selfishness is better than like. Talking about something you don't care about. I mean, I'll, if it's a person I care about and I, you know, want want them to, like, feel better. I guess I want everybody to feel better, but... Yeah, it's just it's just rough with, with the selfishness thing. Also, when you... If you, like, view everything as meaningless or whatever, that also kind of adds to the... It, it, it gives a selflessness, but it also gives us another double-edged sword. Like... You think everything's meaningless. Okay, I think my life's meaningless. So, you know, I'm willing to maybe, in, in some regard, I could talk, 
you know, I'm not going full on like, uh, nothing matters. I'm just saying like, as an individual, we're probably pretty insignificant compared to the whole because we are one of seven billion and then out in that, or eight billion. And then in that eight billion, there's like, don't forget about the animals and that's just the earth and there's a billion other planets. It's like, you know, it's kind of silly to, to give us any sort of a value outside of just like what we want for ourselves. Um, oh, so yeah, yeah. So it's like when other people tell me like, you know, kind of, in my opinion, small problems like, oh, uh, um, <laughs> dude, I don't know. I stubbed my toe, so it hurts a bit to walk on it. It's like, okay, well, it'll probably be better in a couple of days. There's no, it kind of goes back to the decision thing too. Like a lot of times when people are having trouble, like about a situation that's, like, coming up soon in the near future or whatever, it's like, okay, well, why are you worrying about it right now? Like, can you do anything about it right now? If, if you can't do anything about it right now and it's going to happen inevitably, don't worry about doing anything about it or changing anything because it's just going to happen anyways. And so you're just making the present moment worse. I'm not trying to be, like, a meditation dick. Like, oh, you fool. <laughs> why, why are you in the present moment? <laughs> But I do think that, like, solves a lot of those issues. Oh, yeah. I think I got my point across. Just It's just hard for me to figure out, like, how to not be mean when I don't care about what, the, what other people are saying without being dishonest. That's why, I, honestly, that's... I mean, I kind of like it. I'm sure a lot of people like it, and I, I do too. I like, definitely have it have had issues with it. Like, I like talking about myself, but at a certain point, like you realize that, like, to me at least, a lot of the times I feel like I do it. There's just, it's just not, it's not beneficial for anybody. Some, like, in some cases, if it's something, like, really interesting or hopefully helpful or an uh, interesting story or it's funny, then you can do it, but, and, but then, but then, I don't know, my roommates have, like, counter-arguments of, oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter, like, I still want to hear what you have to say or whatever, because I usually just say, like, never mind, and just, like, don't say it, <laughs> um. Yeah, it's rough. I don't know. It's been a roller coaster of a week. One little stupid cringe like analogy I had, just because I had a really rough week. Uh, you know, it's kind of life is maybe. I'm just putting faith in this. It's just a way to cope. If you want a way to cope, here's a way, little analogy that can maybe help you cope if you're like not having a good time. It's like a mountain. You're climbing. You're overall going upward your your movement is upward which is like good um but occasionally yeah there are like detours you have to take on the trail you know obviously like oh there's a big boulder here you have to go kind of down and around it so you're still gonna have those waves of like shittiness but it's gonna be like overall going up you know